less talk, more action. Today we're using a model 480P to make test cuts on plastic, um, kind of like a pallet, but they're used as a uh, flooring uh, material. Say you're uh, trying to use a grass field and set up a permanent insulation, semi permanent insulation, like doing a concert or something, you want to protect the grass from the raving kids, uh, you put down acres and acres of this plastic material. Um, the potential customer wants to cut this at an angle, so you might use this at the edge um, of the field to give a nice taper effect instead of having a, a trip hazard at the edge. So I know I can cut this material. Uh, feels like a UHMWPE, an uh, injection molded by the look of it, maybe a little filler. Um, so that cuts well. The blade we're using today is a one inch wide, three tooth per inch, running about 3,000 feet per minute. We are on a model 480P, as I said. Where do we have the blade pressure set? You got it like for a one inch, you got like 60 PSI? About. Okay, that'll work fine. So we're running at about 18, 20,000 PSI on the blade. One potential limiting factor, the, this saw is built for a customer with a fairly light duty cutting application. We're using a two horsepower, three phase brake motor. Normally when I'm cutting through big chunks of plastic, I like at least five horsepower, so I may have to cut slowly. This machine as standard comes with a fixed table that as you slide the workpiece across the table to make the cut. For this test cut, we have put up a temporary rolling table. It's a light duty rolling table, but it'll work fine for this cut. Um, so the real hard part of this cut is getting a nice angle cut across here. Doing a shallow angle cut on a workpiece like this is tricky, both in terms of fixturing the workpiece and getting the blade to cut straight and not either dip down or rise up in the cut. We do have a little bit of a lip here on the edge of the table to keep the workpiece from being drugged sideways like this by the force of the blade. We also have a little trailing edge lip to keep it from being pushed back as you push into the blade. Uh, we have a wooden ramp fixture underneath here that we've done to set the angle. But uh, in terms of test cuts, this is actually kind of hard. This is the very first time we tried to cut this material in this configuration. And uh, there is some significant chance this video never gets posted to YouTube. If you do, I'm good at what I do. So, would you start it up please? And hang around, we might need to shut it off in a hurry in case this thing goes whopper jaw on us. Uh, can't, let me try and cut from this side so I can see what's going on here. Biting in nice. Yes, I'm going very slow. The material does not have a cro constant cross section. Sometimes I'm cutting through almost nothing, sometimes I'm cutting through 20 of solid material. So the cutting speed reflects that change in cross section.
Thank you. Shut her off, please. Let's see what we got here. That's kind of bitchy stuff to cut through, isn't it? That, uh, I think that's kind of what the customer wanted to do. So our fixture may not have been dead perfect. Would you send the tail back to the start position, please? That thing gonna hit? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Oh, nice save. Thank you. So how does that look for flatness? All right, magical power of bandsaws. That is a dead flat cut. So this will be the this will be the scrap piece, and that is a nice flat cut. Might have a little bit of entry taper here. I'm not sure that's due to something inherent in the uh, in the workpiece or the fixturing. I think it's in the I think it's in the workpiece. So it looks like the workpiece tapers off like this on the ends because it's sitting nice and flat on my table here. So this is the drop. And this would be what the customer actually wants to keep. And sitting down here on our table. That is, that is quite nice. I think we have a winner here. So we have one more of these to cut. It's a slightly different configuration. I'll set up and test cut that, but I think we're onto something here.